Hey, it's Steve, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna go for a race in a set of Corsa on the Monza track in the wet at nighttime. So I wanna see whether racing in VR will improve my performance in the race. I didn't do very well in the last video, but hopefully with VR and the immersion and a little bit of research I've been doing to drive better, uh, I should be able to pull off a better result. So let's just jump straight in. Got the essentials app just above the steering wheel, so can have a look at that from time to time to see where we are in the race and how we're doing. Oh, great. Don't box me in. Oh, good man. It's just what I need. Oh, downshifted a little bit early and bumped my brake bias knob on the steering wheel. I'm gonna try and cut him off. Yep, I just felt him at the back there. There he is on the side. Let's see if we can uh, safely just cut him off. Yeah, he's moved to the left. Just saw him in the uh, mirror there. He's moved to the inside again. He's, I reckon he's gonna make a move. A bit early, a bit early in the game. There he is. I'm not gonna be a hero, but I'll let him have it. Just get through this safely. So we started seventh and we've moved up to sixth. Would have been fifth if he hadn't overtaken me. So that's a pretty good start for me anyway. Considering the previous video where I tried to race this on a single screen and did, just didn't have much luck, if I'm completely honest. Well, I'm gonna try and block him off. Wow, he's right there. I'll just do it once, I won't just be annoying and be a pest shown that I'm ready to defend. Oh, this is, I just wasn't confident on turning that hard. Still not confident. But we got through that and I think we caused a bit of a ruckus behind us because there, uh, there's a bit of a gap, which is good for me. Let's just see if we can take some better turns. To be honest, I don't know what my limit is in the rain. Uh, I think the best time I've done since the previous video, in that I claimed that I could manage a 156, uh, mid 156 in that video. Since then I've been able to just get a smidge under 159. Oh, come on. This is very slow, very slow but I don't care. I just want to make sure I don't slip out because these conditions are brutal. They're very slippery. I've made sure to uh, enable um, the track conditions relative to the weather. Oh, I really want to accelerate mid-turn on that last bend. that balance safely through this turn. I know they're on my tail. Give it a quick block, brake again. Oh, I didn't ease up on the brake quick enough then. And so there was a bit of weight at the front and I didn't want to over, overturn or oversteer and then have the back spin out. It's just tucking behind him. So we're down to seventh now. hard on the brakes then. So I'm going to try and defend this guy here. I don't want to give up 7th place. Let's just move a bit on the inside. And... That was really bad, but hey, I managed to hold it. Yeah, oh, he's, let's see if we can take the inside. No, yeah, he, he got a good dive on me then, and I braked really late. Let's just get it, see if we can get a toe. No, I don't think it's going to happen. He's just a, a, a little bit faster. 
Uh, something's happening. 200 and okay. No, I don't think I'll be able to go on the inside. Yeah, come on. No. I got this set at pro. Oops, I bumped the brake bias again. I've got this set at pro difficulty, and I'm by, I'm not a pro by any means. Uh, I am an enthusiast, <laughs> I, and you know the reason why I set this at pro is because I, I wanted to give it a try, and I did this on the previous video, and you know I had. Oh, let's just not oversteer. Understeer that. And you know I had had a had a lot of fun, <laughs> despite the uh, abysmal. Uh, the abysmal uh, result and if you like that kind of stuff where uh, races don't end the, the way you'd intended them to then go check that video out but I just wanted to uh, block him off here just wanted to give a um, you know a bit of an example of how tough it can really be in the wet on a single screen and now here we are in VR and we're gonna try and debunk Not debunk, but just really test whether you can make some gains when you're in a more immersive setup. Notice the uh, steering wheel starting to vibrate a bit. Let's see if we can block on the right. Push hard, and we're getting a little bit of a gap. That wasn't too bad on that parabolic turn. We're, we're at eighth position in the fourth lap. Last lap time was 159. I would like that to be a lot faster if possible. I'm gonna go a little bit harder on the tires now. Yeah, he uh, he timed that the stop on that previous uh, on that first turn there really well. See, he's caught up a fair bit. He's going to go for a dive. I'm just going to let him. I don't want to. This isn't good. Oh no 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 no! Let's get back into it. That was not good. Oops. Is he on the right? I think he's on the right. Yeah, wow, I can't believe he squeezed past then. Yikes, 11th. Oh, hand is getting numb from all the shuddering coming through the, uh, the steering wheel. I have to try and grip this a little bit loosely. Not the best, but it wasn't a scrappy, scrappy, um, scrappy style going through those last turns there. Get that balance. Now let's try and move the, the weight a little back while I push on the accelerate. Try and do it smoothly, because I am no, no pro. coming for me. Keep peering in that. Okay, let's stop now. Let's try and catch up to this guy. Oh no, this is wide. Wasn't too bad. Um, I think he had some more distance on me towards the end of the lap and we've managed to close the gap just slightly. Let's just keep racing smart, keep trying to race as safe as possible. And we're in the fifth lap, so we can try and push it a bit more. I think the, uh, the tires are... Oh, he's going for a move, better block. Good, good. 
good. Back off, buddy. Oh, he's coming. He's gonna go for a dive, any money. Let's just really shut him down there. He's gonna go for a move again. I'm gonna just have to try and defend as much as possible. I know this isn't a nice strategy. Oh. Wow, we saved that, but I think he's going to come on on the inside. Yeah, there he is. Just tuck in behind him. Alright, let's try and pip him to the post here. On this, uh, I don't know when he's going to, going to break, but let's just... Neck and neck, come on. Just don't want to do anything silly and skid out there. It's very easy to skid out. And really, that's the, that's the only turn that I can manage a overtake on in this... Uh, Get your balance right through the turn. Oh, that was terrible. You can sometimes oops, bump that brake bias. Uh, you can sometimes um, downshift mid turn without much consequence. Try and push a little bit. So I like that that last bit there, the last set of turns. Still, my setup isn't as good as uh, the others in this race. Get that balance right. Now let's move that weight to the rear and push. You can see we've closed the gap slightly by taking that parabolic turn in a smarter way. You know, of course, I'm trying to uh, brake hard and then start off with my uh, trail braking into the turn and then working out where the balance is in the car as I'm going through the turn. Oh, I'm skidding a bit, but I think we can rescue it. So I feel we haven't gained and we haven't lost since the last, the last lap. Time is slightly improving, 158. I think I was doing a little bit better in the single screen around this time in the race. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can push some weight to the back and accelerate. Break it a little bit early and then turn hard. Downshift. I think that downshift should have occurred during the turn. I think that would have been better. Would have been a better position to uh, get on the uh, the throttle on the exit a little earlier. careful on the exit of that because it's so easy just to whip the back out and be uh, oversteering to the left. Let's get that balance right. So what time are we at? Let's have a look. 157, so we're improving. This is good. Feeling a little bit more comfortable in these conditions. Now that the tyres are... Uh... Now, 
I break really hard on that, so I'm, I'm gonna suffer because of that. So my hand is, my right hand is going numb from the steering wheel vibration. I don't know how I do on a direct drive wheel. You can hear that shuddering. Come on. That's it, that's it. Smart driving, brake hard, trail brake, drop down, accelerate into the turn. I'm gonna go at the 150. Oh, 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 I'm on the limit, come on. <laughs> I'm on the limit of, of making huge, significant errors. Can't believe I, uh, I did that, and then can't believe that I managed to save it. Okay, balance feels good, turning hard, accelerate a little bit. Uh, it was not what I wanted then. I really wanted to get a bit more. Uh, close a bit more of the gap on those two ahead so that I could see if I could dive bomb them but I think I'll be able to um, gain just slightly oh awesome there's something going on here you can see we're a fair bit closer so someone I think the red car is overtaking the black car there position exchange and that's bought me a little bit of time to catch up now a little bit of research showed that there was um, there's a there's grip on the outside white line of that chicane. Oh, he's on my tail. I can't always get it. And <laughs> I swear, you've got to be a, got to be a pro to, to take advantage of that. Go to the left, he wants to dive. We got a little bit of a gap coming out of that turn. He's gonna, just due to his faster setup or maybe a better exit, he's gonna catch me. But I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and outdrive him on this. Just block him coming out of the turn. Oh, ninth lap, 158. All right, let's see if we can block this. I think he's gonna, I'm gonna go right dead bang in the center. All right, so we've caught up. What are we on? Last lap. I, I really don't think we'll be able to catch these two ahead. I'll try, I'll try. Smart braking, come on. Wow, he's right on my tail, moving to the right. Blocked him off. You sneaky, sneaky bugger. Wow, look at that lightning. Unbelievable. Oh, a bit of lock up. Come on, hold it, stick it.
Oh, I eased off the throttle a little bit on the exit there because I just wanted to make sure I didn't oversteer that like the last time. Here we go. I think the best we can do is just to block. No, no, not now, not now. Oh, defend, defend, defend. Whew. I think that's it. 12th place. So I think we improved greatly. Uh, well, from what I consider <laughs> greatly <laughs> compared to the, uh, the video that I released previously of uh, single screen with that exact same race. So I'm quite happy with this and I think I think, it, I think it is possible to, to do better with VR, provided you've got a good setup, there's no latency, and you've got your settings in VR tuned just the way you like, like the position of where you are in the distance to the steering wheel. If you can get that one-to-one -one matching where when you fully rotate the wheel, the way I do it is I make sure that the virtual hand that I'm looking at on top of the steering wheel matches my real hand on top of my steering wheel, and I do that just by peeking underneath the headset. I think it's, you can definitely shave a few milliseconds off of your lap times. Uh, in that particular race, I, I don't think I raced faster, but I did race smarter and I was more aware. And at the end of the day, I think these are the kind of things that you really need to be a better driver, uh, you know, at the amateur level where you're having less spin outs, less crashes, making less silly mistakes and being more consistent. And that's what you, that's why you're driving. That's why you're racing, you know, and practicing. For, to, to become a more consistent driver with less errors. Well, anyway, that's pretty much it. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video.